Welcome to this short video that will cover how you can edit one of your existing service menus. First, we'll go into the settings area where such default changes are made. Here on the navigation bar, we'll simply click on the settings icon. Things relating to your service menus can all be found underneath event services. For the purposes of this video, we'll be going into the manage service menus area. When I go into the manage service menus area, I see a list of menus displayed. If you find the menu that you want to edit, say I want to edit this a spring dinner menu, but the action links do not display to the left, then you will want to make a different selection in your site drop-down list above. Menus that are shared across multiple sites in your organization may have been created at what's called the master list level, while menus that are unique to a specific site may be at the site level. When I change mine, for example, to the master list, now I notice that all of my action buttons are now illuminated and I can click on edit next to the appropriate menu. So you'll want to check that site drop-down in your action buttons in your own organization. Once these action links are displayed, I can simply click the Edit link next to the menu that I want to edit. For my example, again, I'll be editing the Spring Dinner menu. I'm going to click the Edit link. The Edit Service page displays, and this is going to be where it allows me to change the service menu details and or the package pricing details. For this menu, let's pretend we've had a price increase, for example. Our menu used to be $50 per person, now it's going to be $65 per person. I'm simply going to change that price here, $65. The percentage or dollar amounts can be reallocated across revenue centers in the area below. For my example, 100% going to food is just fine. However, your example may be different. The package pricing type is displayed up at the top. I have a percentage amount at this point in time being allocated across revenue centers. That could also be a dollar amount. Uh, that is displayed there as well, either way. But all I'm doing here is changing my package price to $65 per person. As I scroll down toward the bottom of this screen, the service types or courses that are currently present in this menu are listed here in the selected service types area. I can reorder the courses as well as adding additional courses simply by dragging and dropping in this area. The package price for my menu has been edited, so I am simply going to save this menu as it exists, and we'll do a few more edits to it. You may also need to delete, add, edit, or reorder items that are listed in your menu. For example, as I scroll down in my spring dinner menu that I have changed the package price for, you'll notice here, this particular menu has four different sections or service types as we call them. We have hors d'oeuvre with some items listed. We have a first course section. We have entrees, we also have some desserts, and I can add or edit items in any of those particular sections. For this example, let's take a look at the hors d'oeuvres section. To remove an item, I can simply click on the delete link located directly to the left of the service item. I'll delete the chicken skewers. We no longer offer those for this menu. As I look down now, you'll notice the chicken skewers have been removed. To add an item to a service type, I'll want to click the Add Items button located directly below the name of that particular service type. So I'm going to go ahead and add shrimp cocktail to this menu. So I'm going to click Add Item, and I'm going to want to search through my master list of service items to find shrimp cocktail. There's a couple of different ways you can search. I can simply use the search string and type in the word shrimp, or I could use the category drop-down and maybe narrow down my search by what type of an item it is, say it's an appetizer or an entree. Either way or both will work just fine. 
I'm just going to type in the word shrimp. There's my shrimp cocktail. I'm going to simply check the box and add. Just a quick note, if your item does not exist in that master list that you just searched through, you'll want to go into your Manage Service Items area and add the item as new prior to coming in here and editing your menu. The additional item shrimp cocktail has now been added to my hors d'oeuvres course. The edit items button contains our additional pricing and some default quantity information. Let's say for example that the shrimp cocktail is an add-on to our package of $3 per person. So to my package price I'm going to add $3 and that's going to be a per person price. I'm just going to say it's one per one. That auto quantity tells Reserve to go ahead and calculate that based on the number of guests for my event. The difference real quickly between a la carte and add-on. A la carte is utilized in a menu where everything is priced individually. An add-on price is used when it's a package menu, such as mine at $65 per person. It's a package menu where I want to add on to the price of the package. So if they opt for the shrimp cocktail, there will be an add-on price of $3 per person. I'll go ahead and save that. We can also reorder items within our list. So within each service type, I can have the items displayed in the order I prefer. By clicking the reorder button, I can simply drag and drop the items into a different order. Lastly, within these menus, I can change the actual service type name. So for this example, I had hors d'oeuvres and then first course, etc. Maybe I would like, instead of saying hors d'oeuvres, for it to say appetizer. I can simply change the service type. And from the drop-down list, I'll change that to appetizer. And I'll save that. Now the course name or the service type header has been edited to reflect my preference. Again, if you go to change your service type and the service type you'd like does not exist in the drop-down, you can certainly add that in the event services area. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click Done. I have edited my menu, and now the new menu is all ready to be utilized in an event. For a more detailed video of how to edit an existing menu, please watch our recorded webinar called Event Services. That can be found up here in Reserve University. Thank you so much for watching.